This podcast is sponsored by Camera Museum of London at 44 Museum Street. Welcome to a Fish Out of Water podcast. This is your host, Richard Lipman. Today, we're interviewing Carlos Gallardo and Elliot Grove. I don't know why didn't squint much, but that was, he was a young kid. I think I have to give you that character that I'm older, I'm more mature. <laughs> Sir, may I ask your your full name and profession, please? Carlos Gallardo, or Carlos Gallardo, or Carlos Gallardo. <laughs> and and w- what is your profession? I'm an actor, producer. Um, w- what what is uh, what brings you to Rain Dance? Well, I was invited, thank you to Elliot and David. I, I, we were invited as a group uh, to come and, 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 and be part of this, uh, this beautiful rain dance. Uh, and I'm very honored to be here and um, you know, to showcase El Mariachi and showcase Redcon. So that's why we're here, you know, to promote Redcon 1, which is opening tonight, and to show the very first film. And I did forget to talk about there is a link between El Mariachi and Redcon. The same song that I, that I sing in El Mariachi, I'm gonna sing it in Redcon, but you have to wait until the end with the credits. And um, tell us about El Mariachi, you, uh, Carlos Gallardo, and yes. Robert Rodriguez. What's the relationship? We're friends from high school. We met uh, when we were freshmen. And we started making films uh, when we were about uh, 14 years old. And we haven't stopped since, since then. Are you still friends? Of course, we just shot a, uh, a film. We just shot another film for $7,000. Um, they've spoken already about it in El Rey Network, uh, but I, that's all I can tell you right now. Of course. Um, can you tell us uh, what were the most difficult and humorous moments when making El Mariachi? Uh, uh, some of my friends would show up to shoot and then the next day some of them were too drunk or too hangover to show up and and uh, in some of the scenes some of them are really not there but because of the editing you can't tell Uh, that was one of the challenges and and i think uh just you know just asking people for for locations and asking people to help us and uh, and they really, they did help us, and really, they they thought I was just making another video, because it was just, it was just, just like that, you know. It was just Robert, the camera, and myself. And and I mean, there were not huge uh, problems because, uh, I mean, what problems? The problems came to me, and and I and I fixed them. So, uh, the guns were a little bit uh, of a problem, but as as we we fixed up, you know, we fixed the issue with that we we got the permits uh but other than that everything was was it wasn't smooth again you know i had to be i have to produce there were a lot of things that they were not ready the next day and and, and it was my fault or, or my friend's fault and most of the time obviously it's not the producers or these other people that you have to you have to deal with and, you, and and they promise you one thing or another but that that's the, that's the thing that i had to deal with you mentioned during your uh, the talk after the screening, um, a moment, a scene that you had to go in. You'd killed six people. Yes. And there was um, a direction from Robert Rodriguez. Can you recall that moment again for us? Yes. Uh, he said, well, how would you do this scene? And I said, well, uh, I, I just killed four men. So I, I was like overacting. So I, I was like doing it like, <gasps> I just killed the four men. And, and he turned around and goes, no, 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 we have to do it this way. So then I I went to the fact you, you you know you go down and you go I just killed four men 
Obviously, I didn't, not with this voice, but with my younger voice. But that's what I would do now. Because it's cinema, it's not theater. You gotta be more underacting. And the, well, I mean, the moving moments you mentioned uh, during the talk um, about your your mother passing away. Oh, how, I'm sorry about that. Uh, how, how, it just it's fine. It's just me. How did it affect you? Uh, well, it did affect me because she only went to one premiere and. I would go to Hollywood and I kind of I would, I would go to many parties and she was not with me. Um, so now I regret that. You mentioned that you went. I mean, after the success of El Mariachi, mm -hmm. you did another film. Oh, Single action. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, well, I did Desperado, Desperado. with seven million dollars, but then I did Single Action for eleven thousand dollars. Which one did you prefer? Which one was most enjoyable? No. Both, uh, because in Desperado you got the money, you got the perks, and you got, you know, you got all this nice stuff, you know. And then, uh, I mean, independent is is hard. It's it's not easy. I mean, uh, it's got it's 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 hard. You know, I, I like the studios because of one thing, and I like independent. For, so it's really I like them both. It's it's really difficult to to say I like one or the other. I think. Uh, I mean, because there's so much things. I mean, in general, if you say, what do you like about independent filmmaking? That we can control it more. And with studios, well, we can't control it that much. But, that, but that's, I'm sure that's not what you mean. You mean, personally, what do I enjoy? And I do enjoy, you know, I, I do enjoy the perks of the studios. And what I mean, who it, doesn't? What was it like working with Robert on a bigger film? Did he change? Was he the same person? Uh, he had more pressure. We had more pressure, so obviously we change because we have more responsibilities, and 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 that's a given. I mean, we do change, and then we have to change our personalities with with other people, and we have to be more responsible. But it's the responsibility that really pushes you to now say, okay, this is on me, and, and that people are trusting me. And I think that that is not a, it's not that you change or or that. That yet you become egotistic. It's just you just have to play that that part. You know you have to be responsible. And being responsible, like I said, it's it's not easy. You know, being a leader is not easy. You mentioned ego during mm -hmm. the talk. Can you uh, elaborate? Well, I mean, ego. Uh, if you're in the, I mean, ego for me, um, I can be very egotistical, but I know where to use it. You know. But I'm very humble, naturally. I'm a humble man. But uh, have I had ego in the past? Yeah, I mean, I think ego uh, can can happen at any moment. You know, at any at, at any moment, you, you could have ego, and that's 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 a problem. I think you need to control yourself, and I think if you control yourself, then that's that's important. Um, very quick last questions. Um, you mentioned well apparently there was a mention of uh god philosophy or, yes can can you describe that very quickly i'm just very spiritual i believe in god and uh, i believe in quantum physics as well and i study quantum physics and i think there's a link and that's all i can say about that and what's next future future steps uh, i'm gonna stick with my team uh, and obviously, the next uh, after Alita, um, there's a, the Robert Rodriguez film that I, that I did, which I don't even know if I should say, that. but I just did. Maybe you shouldn't put that. Um, I mean, it's on. Um, we collaborated in another film, and it's supposed to be. It it actually it's it. Let me say that again, so you can actually use it correctly. Uh, I just work with Robert Rodriguez, and it's supposed to be a surprise, and that's all I can say. Thank you very much, sir. Don't manipulate my, my, my... Oh, no, the, the yeah, last no, I'm going to stick it as well. Because then I'll... I'll
Do you want me to look straight to the camera or to you? Hey, Rain Dance is right here in the center of London. We've got all kinds of films from all around the world. Uh, and those are the press boards, and we're expecting some fairly interesting people this afternoon, which makes it fun. Why did you create Rain Dance? Made Rain trying to uh, shine a spotlight on all my filmmaking friends who were making movies with zero money, no film school training, and no film experience. Filmmaking, you see, is actually. It's not difficult. All you do is point a camera like that at actors. That's all you do. But there's so much mystique in the film, in the movie industry. The movie industry likes to keep people like you out because it, they lose their jobs. But everyone can make a movie now, which is very good. It's also very bad because cameras like the one on your cell phone, we've got many films here, the festival shot in this camera, uh, means there's so many films out there and so much harder to get noticed. Tell us about your... I'm here at the 2018 Ah, the jury. We've got an amazing jury this year, sort of divided in half. We've got... Uh, we, ooh, we've got so-called celebrities and names, some pretty interesting people. They're on our website. And we also have the workhorses from the industry. We actually have someone over here, Lawrence Fulvis. This guy is a... This guy is from America. He's a writer, director, producer, and he's the guy that runs the student Oscars, which makes me faint. Yes, I, I, I'm very happy to be on the jury here. I think that what uh, Elliot and the festival is doing is really wonderful. And, um, and the festival is an Oscar qualifying festival, so basically it's something very unique for filmmakers to be able to have a winning film and uh, qualify for the Student Academy Awards and also for the um, short film Oscar at the Academy. What, what did you guys have for breakfast today? What do we have for breakfast today? I, I know what I had. What did you have? <laughs> I know what I had too, but I don't know if I'll say. I, I, I always have a big breakfast. Oats and nuts and fruit and my almond bre milk. My breakfast was films. <laughs> and, and I had his sprocket holes. How about that? What's <laughs> happening in the future? Virtual reality, virtual reality, virtual reality. And films will never go away in traditional manner which is um, just being expanded by the different technologies, VR and so forth. So we have different types of films, different types of, of processes, but it's all storytelling. Well, thanks for coming. Enjoy. Please tell your friends about what we do at Raindance. We also have the film school classes throughout the whole year, and anyone can make a movie. In a few words, what are your philosophies of life? My philosophy of life, never listen to the word no. And my philosophy of life, which is about life and it's also about filmmaking and storytelling, is to follow the passion that's in your heart. That's true. Not to copy, but be original and do what you love. Do the films because if you're passionate about a film, then actors will be passionate about it. That passion will go into the lens and it will translate to the audience. And to follow your gut instinct, because your gut instinct is usually the right one. In your career, what is the most difficult Can you identify one memory? Uh, one memory when I did not follow my gut instinct. Yeah. And I chose to listen to the uh, powers that be in the executive offices as a director. I followed their instruction. And ultimately, the film was not the way it should have been. And it's again about not having regrets. And I will forever now follow my gut instincts so that I never have any more regrets in my life. It's an action film that I did called Night Force. It was a follow-up to one of my favorite films called Young Warriors. And uh, but I, um, it was my favorite of scripts that I've written. And in the end, it was not my favorite of films that I directed. But um, this is why I say that you need to follow what you believe in and stick to it. I've made so many screw ups. I'd hate to. I'd be here all day. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Yeah.
Chris O'Dowd's coming at six, and Amanda Seyfried and Victor Mamma Mia are coming. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Sky TV. Yeah. Sky TV. Mm -hmm. And then Sky TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This podcast is sponsored by Camera Museum of London at 44 Museum Street. Thank you for listening to a Fish Out of Water podcast. This is your host, Richard Lipman. Should you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please get in touch. <laughs>